So, uh, Battlegrounds updates. Now that players have started to get the hang of trinkets, uh, the timer is back to normal length, so the time's gonna be a bit shorter, which is nice. Gaff Run Totem uh, was reworked before the season started, so now you have to buy 25 World of Tears, which is just very solid. I think Gaff's gonna be one of the strongest heroes. I think he's still at 10 armor, but you've seen the previous game, I mean, Whenever you get an economy going, the 25 world of cards is not as difficult to get and you can probably utilize him in the cycle because 25 make a huge difference between 30, it's like heaven, heaven and earth, it's actually a huge difference. So that's a nice change. So we have tons of adjustments to the lesser and greater trinkets. I'm not gonna go through all of them. They were based on internal bizarre stats, I do believe. So we, we have to just trust that the stuff that were underperforming get buffed and stuff that were overperforming get nerfed according to the stats and there's not much comments I can do. And the outliers, which we will see, is uh, for example, they reworked the rocking music box. It currently uh, works at the end of the turn, which was kind of awkward. So they changed it to work like a compass. So rocking music box, which is, uh, I think, believe Dragon and Moodlock uh, Trinket is um, now giving you better cry at the start of the turn. Therefore, it works like a compass and it's way, way... I, I, don't, I don't want to say better because there is Drakari existence, so you could use Rock Moving Box with Drakari brand Merkai builds, but for the while it was kind of awkward. Uh, they also reworked the one of the strongest lesser trinket in existence, which is a calligraphy set, lesser one. So it's Avenge 5 and in only buffs health now, so this one, this one was by far the best quillboard trinket, nothing was even close. So right now you can only buff half, so you will need to utilize the Prickly Piper and the new 4-drop to buff your attack. Therefore, even though it's only gonna cost 2 and still gonna be very good, don't get me wrong, it's still gonna be very good, it's not a game-breaking. Automaton Portrait is now costing 6, wait, it's getting buffed? Well, Automaton is getting nerfed, which we're gonna cover later. So, uh, from the greater trinkets, uh, what actually happened? So, there is one huge change with the Light Fang. Light, light Fang itself get buffed, but the trinket become greater. But it only costs one, so we can get later on later stage on 10.9, you can get Light Fang. And maybe you have just the right board, maybe you have Dracario, second Light Fang in Shrub inside. It only costs one, and yeah, so maybe you will take it. It's very... so... Uh, the lesser trinket was overperforming, uh, was very good, but Life Fang itself was very bad. Therefore, they had to do something and um, they make a drastic change, but I think it's unnecessary. Uh, Revender Portrait, so this is another huge one. The, it get disabled, it was game breaking, stealth titus, no counterplay whatsoever. So they kind of change it and now you, you are still getting a titus Revender. And at the start of the combat, your titus Revender, its uh, health is doubled. It is kind of, I mean, I I think maybe they could have given it Reborn or Divine Shield, so it's kind of harder to kill, but I assume it still will create very unfun, especially with Reborn, because Science White Wind wouldn't work, it would create very unfun, uh, a very unfun uh, situation, so I think they just made the right choice. So you still, when you play Death Rattle Beast, this is a Beast and Undead Trinket, you're gonna get your Titus Remen there, it's gonna get extra health, so it's gonna be harder to kill uh, with like um, Blaster, Paro, Titus if they want to counter you in the mirror or stuff like that. Obviously White Man still will work, uh, but it was a very reasonable change. And I'm glad they did it because it was way, way too strong. Uh, a lot of uh, nerf. This is this one is very huge. So Darnassus Pi is one of the weakest trinkets and it costs 5. Therefore, this is probably something I was missing. Uh, th this one, uh, the Dynasty Spy is a trinket that for each unit you are selling, you are buffing the shop. So maybe there was a cycle comp that could make the shop very big and at the end of the turn you were buying an, or like playing stuff. Honestly, at high MMR I didn't see anyone utilizing it, uh, utilizing and picking it. Other options uh, felt better because they are permanently buffing the shop. So even though Dynasty Spies, if you have very spicy turn, can be better. Uh, in the long run, the other options were just very, very, uh, like, create more stats, I will say. But maybe I was something, missing something. Yeah, definitely had probably concerning stats. Uh, so they actually probably uh, make it more expensive. 
So a lot of changes, some buffs to the effect, like Cold Leather Pouch get buffed. It's now plus five, plus five for each card we buy, for each, uh, yeah, for each card we buy for a, to, to a friendly minion. Um, yeah, a lot of changes that were honestly necessary. And we'll see how the meta gonna shape up afterwards. Now we're gonna, gonna go to go to mid, uh, mid uh, of the stuff. Light Fang Enforcer. So as I mentioned, the, uh, the Trinket get nerfed. But Light Fang itself as a unit get buffed, so now it's plus 4, plus 3, and the unit itself is 8, 8, 6. Quite a chunky unit, I think it's still very good to triple into, right? On 10, 6, 7, it's probably gonna perform really well. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's kinda awkward, it's kinda awkward. Like, Light Fang, obviously, it's not just not good enough to be a build in the, in the current uh, year, so we will see. I mean, it's... Not re super relevant change because you're not often gonna see the light fang. It's more when you triple into and then greater trinket, maybe for one gold, this is gonna fit your need and you can utilize that. Snail Cavalry was, according to the set, one of the best one drop. Uh, the best one drop actually was Wrath Weaver, but it's always like that because people just force demons and demons were underperforming. A lot of, of the other trinket get actually nerfed, so probably Weaver win rate gonna also go down. Snail Cavalry was just too strong as 3 2. Uh, uh, this is a, a typo. It used to be 3 2, not 2 3. This is a typo. Now it's a plus 2 plus 2. So that's uh, just a reasonable change. The card is still viable, but it's not, no longer as good because you're going to lose on 10 1 more often now. Zesty get revert to the, uh, re, re, <laughs> revert to the old version. I just couldn't have it. Between Goldenizer, Eyes of Earth Mother, and multiple ways to abuse abuse that it was just very unhealthy for the meta game to have such an effect so i'm very glad they changed it like you could even roll chief choice and play on zesty which i probably in my mind that's probably very like very doable play and you still get a free chief choice and demon so very nice they had to reward it but they also did something for the nagas that i'm gonna talk later so it's not like nagas are oh my god they are unplayable now they actually made one change that's gonna actually boost the nagas so pirates were one of the weakest tribes i would say overall so there is a few buffs to the tribe. So first off, Crow's Nest Sentry, 4 HP. It might sound like not super relevant, but when you play Titus base build, getting this, playing with Brand, this is suddenly 8 HP, so this is gonna add up. So this is buff for the late game builds of APM focus, and in the early game, if you have board full of pirates, it's also more beneficial. So just a, like a nice small buff. Ice feature, so new six drops is now a five drop. So obviously the card bar underperforming as a 6 drop, now as a 5 drop, it's a very good card for the menagerie, you're gonna get a lot of extra stats, it's probably better than the old um, pirate, underherded dealer by a bit, uh, I, not, not by a lot, but by a bit, it's probably a tiny bit better. Now uh, the key point is also APM pirates, utilize the new 1 amalgam band, which is a 6 drop, so this being a 5 drop, might be a recipient of more buffs because like Rodeo Performer or like Drakisat, they both have uh, tier 5s. Therefore, this might simply maybe make a cut for that comp because it also has a passive like a passive scaling. Uh, maybe it's actually the, the unit we want to run in APM Pirates now. As a 6 drop, but probably not good enough. And Exodia Pirates get actually buffed too. So uh, Cruise Controller now gives 5 attack huge increase and you might see a bit more exodia some pirate trinkets based on exodia get actually nerfed so they probably try to balance things out so they don't it doesn't go out of control but this is actually a huge 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 buff it's not just one attack it's just like one attack that's gonna get multiply uh, multiply uh, in multiple ways and uh, and i'm gonna repeat word multiply one more and you're gonna probably go out but you, you got a dream this is the, more than just one attack it's just actually a tremendous buff so Undead, kinda underperforming, so we have Thundering Abomination. Uh, getting minor buff, it's now plus 3, plus 2 for the tokens we summon and for itself. Probably just to make sure that, I mean, you're gonna buy this card and you're just not gonna be super unhappy. Maybe some tempo-oriented one if you have some Undead. The big, actually big, big, big buff is to the Elemental. Bonfil, Bontiful Bedrock is now a 2-drop, so... You're gonna see this, you might want to pick it up. Because you're gonna get elemental back, so even though it's a low tempo, it, it's uh, it's gonna make up for it. It's only uh, only upbeat too. The upbeat is the old mechanic, in, I mean, it's at the end of the turns, but it's an upbeat mechanic that we had in the past. It's only two, therefore it's, it's quite solid. So And also gonna help you force elementals. Way easier to triple this, and then you're gonna get more stuff, so 
probably a good change. Not sure about the, the stats. Maybe they should make him 3 2. But at 3 2, it's probably just C by type of unit. At 2 2, you have to pay the price. So maybe that's just good. Okay, I should probably make a spe special chapter. Ancestral Automaton get nerfed. God, thank you. This had to happen. The unit was dominating the meta and making it very unpleasant. There was available counterplay, but between Ancestral Automaton and Chess Set, which I didn't mention, also get nerfed. Uh, right now, chess set only summons, uh, will only summon two units on the left side. Therefore, it's not gonna create the whole new board for you out of nowhere. No, it's only gonna summon two. So, bit of limitation uh, right now, I would say, which is good because the chess set was obviously one of the, if not the strongest, neutral trinket. So, chess set get nerfed, and now automaton also get nerfed. Plus two, plus one is a huge nerf. It's just basically halving HP. But it's basically halving the HP. Is actually huge, huge, huge nerf, and automatons probably are now a more of a meme uh, or like a mid game, a mid game oriented strat that you probably have to pivot to maybe beatboxer, which I did in the recent YouTube video. Go check it out. This, this everyone was waiting for this. Uh, that's why the automaton trinket is only cost six because they did nerf the unit. So dragons, the worst tribe in the game. Um, they had to do something about it, so we have some change oriented to help the, the tribe. So one up a gargle. I have no idea what it, why it was 5-1, summon 5-1. Like, it just makes no sense how weak that was. It's basically just like very, very weak. The golden version is actually quite powerful, but it's a 4-drop, so, and you never want to play dragon, so you never had the golden version, which is actually very solid, because you also got HP. So if you can make it big, it will be so much better. It's now 9-1, so this you buy this, and in not the other lobbies, it can trade better, so definitely a necessary buff. And I kind of like it, because tavern 4, is lacking of good standalone units and right now if you level quite aggressively you can just pick it up maybe just see that tiny bit then it's not that actually terrible to have it so you can stabilize and hunter of gatherers is now a tier 4 once again to try to boost dragon a bit i don't know how much this will help but it's something and this is a naga buff that i already mentioned channel the devourer is now tier 5 so reason being um Shadow Mental get removed, so there's kind of a vacuum, and especially Nagas are suffering from lack of Shadow Mental. Y yes, there is a Lava Lurker to accumulate the stats, but that's a bit too weak, so now Mitano's spell is uh, tier 5. Honestly, I like this change, because usually you can make like a chunky boy, and it's hard to get the spell. Like, you have to level to 6 and then roll it out, it's not easy to get Mitano's spell. Now it's gonna be more common, because it's available uh, on the earlier stage, so I, I honestly like this change. And yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a huge buff to Nagas. Now, because you have the spell available on Tavern 5. Upbeat Front Drake, it's a 1 1 dragon, upbeat 3, uh, which we had in the past. Quite, quite good. And they added Corrupted Mirmidon back, which I think kind of makes sense because with Atisa, you want a, a qu high quality Nagas to buff, so Corrupted Mirmidon uh, might push you into playing Atisa cycle build with a lot of spells. Uh, a lot of armor change, obviously based on win rate, so you can see Isera getting a lot of armor. At, this is very funny, at high rank Isera has 17 armor, and at low rank has 5, because tribal heroes are just that powerful at low MMR. A lot of change of armor, you can go them through, uh, link gonna be in below. Actually, Bran get buffed, more armor for Bran, which is surprising, because the hero was performing quite well, at least for me. Uh, a lot of uh, bad fixes. I think it's way more than this. They just didn't list everything. I think there's way more bug fixes for better guns than one might think, because there was tremendous amount of the bugs. Uh, and that's it. So thank you for the listening, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe.